show where aspiring voice actors, established VO pros, and curious fans alike get to meet and learn from the mega successful talent in voiceover. Hear their personal stories. Find out how they became so successful. Learn their secrets and join them at the top. Come on, come on, come on and get buzzed with us. Seriously buzzed with your hosts, Chuck Duran and Stacy J. Aswan. And we are back with an amazing new episode of VO Buzz Weekly. It's part two with Mary Elizabeth McGlynn. How excited are you? I am super excited. I cannot mm -hmm. wait to talk to her again. She's so awesome. Well, let's not wait. Come with us. We're going to go there right now. Okay. All right, one quick story about... Uh, being in the on-camera world and the casting and everything else is that you do a table read. So we're doing a sitcom, uh, this episode called Down the Shore, that Pam Adlon was on, who's one of the greatest voiceover actresses of all time, mm -hmm. and Anna Gunn, Breaking Bad genius, amazing yeah. actress. Uh, it was a show about girls who rented a house down the shore in Jersey. Hey! Uh, and I was hired as the Wasp, uh, and another girl as well. And we were sitting down and doing the table read, and she uh, said... Uh, and she just kept stumbling over this line, and she was nervous, and you're in a whole room of people and producers and everything, and it's a really high-tension situation. She goes, ugh, who wrote this shit? You know, and I was like, oh. And she was gone the next day. It was like, you can't even do that in jest. It's just, yeah. you just, uh, I felt so bad for her. Oh, I hit this mic. Yeah, I, so, I felt so, so, so you don't do that. I don't do that. That's Nobody what should do that. And I never worked in that town again. No, 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 I, ne I did. I, uh, I don't do that. That's you what your journal's that. for. That's yes. where you write it. You don't, yeah. That's oh, what you, oh gosh. Goodness you know, inner voice. You say in your car. Inner voice. That's what happens. But you know, you get nervous and you say things. Right. I told Andrew Lloyd Webber how much I loved his work on Les Mis. <laughs> I mean, it was terrible. What did he say? I had nothing to do with Les Miserables. And you're like, that's what I meant. And I went, oh, That's why I did. loved it. Oops. Did. Um, hey, yeah. Oh, oh, how about these that's peanuts? That's something I would do. That's my superpower. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then you would Chuck, correct me. Chuck has been known to have full conversations with someone thinking it was someone completely different. Awesome. And oh. that's my favorite. And then he'll go, bye, so-and-so. And I'll be like, what? He's like, that's not. I'm like, no. no so what do you think right now? Let's start with anime. Okay. Uh, and, we, and we can go into video games, animation. But what do you think are kind of some of the trending archetypes for characters right now? Superheroes. Mm -hmm. One Punch Man is huge, and it should be, and it's awesome. And I binge watched the entire series, which I have not done for an anime series since Wolf's Reign. I mean, like years and years and years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it was so fun. Mm -hmm. It was great. Uh, over the top. Um, I've never seen anything like it. It was really. A cool thing. Aside from that, I really don't watch that much anime, to be so, honest. Yeah. Superheroes for men and women? Uh, like both, yeah, or, they're both, yeah. and super villains in this, super and it's villains. really over the top. It's almost like mashing the Avengers with Godzilla, and it's just this guy, he takes people out one one punch, That's and he's it's, just bored. It's called one punch, right? Yeah, he's just mm -hmm. one punch. Wow. So when you, so when someone is get, gets an audition, say, and it says, you know, natural voice, and not cartoony, and... Mm -hmm. You, for animation, which is a lot of times you read that, it's right. natural Let's say, voice, you know, real voice, not over the top, yeah. right? And then, of course, then sometimes you hear and you go, oh, interesting. That's a, So you as a director, yeah. and you maybe you've listened to some of the auditions or not, but for speaking to talent out there that are, that, you know, that are getting those, those sides, how do you sort of decipher that? And w knowing that it's animation, knowing that it's... You're I talking would, about her personally as an as an actor. Well, you could answer it from okay. whichever hat I, you'd like to. I think research is a great thing. Whatever homework you can do, whatever you can glean from the auditions is just like, okay, what company is doing this? It's Nickelodeon. All right, let's look at some Nickelodeon shows and see what style of animation. Because each network kind of has a right. different yeah, their style. Own little thing, right. yeah. Yeah. So I would start there and then uh, look at it and just say, okay, they're doing a remake. They really do not sound like Bugs Bunny. And that's when I, my, my red flag goes up. And I'm like, you might want to give them a Bugs Bunny read anyway. You know, just, I don't know. I mean, I'm, I certainly don't, uh, when I send out sides, I, I want people to do what, you know, which I don't do that often because I'm not a casting director. Yeah. And I <laughs> praise those people for doing that. So it might be a better question for one of them. But 
um, you know, just my own auditions. When I do my own auditions, yeah. I'll give them three, like, we're doing a reboot of this thing. It's like, but we don't want it to sound like that at all. I'll be like, okay. So I'll give them two takes like that, and maybe at the end I'll throw in one that sounds like the thing that it used to be. I see. Just for fun. Right. Just, just yeah. Right. And just to be a pain in the ass too, you know. Yeah. But you never know. <laughs> Here's the thing: you just don't know. It's mm -hmm. it's it's an enigma. Uh, you should talk to Steve Bloom because Steve books so much, and and Jess and, and yeah. all right. these and Kari right. Walgren and yeah. you know, uh, I am do not work as m anywhere near as much as those yeah. guys. Well, do, kind so. of a fun question for you though, you know, since you have the directing um, hat as well, how are you at self directing your own auditions? Because you still audition. So how are um, you? Are you really critical of yourself or how do you it's kind of depends on the project if I'm pressed for time I'm just gonna whip out a couple takes and go which sucks it's not very respectful to what I'm auditioning for but what's great is that uh, we set up a, a studio so Steve runs the board and I'm in there and he'll give feedback and cool. you know maybe you want to do this maybe you want to do that that's cool and we'll like do all that. the time yeah he does that now awesome. all the time yeah which is great wow very He's handy good there, people, Steve. Steve Bloom I know Stevie Mr. Bloom Mr. Bloom Mr. Bloom such a give of that romantic. one how romantic mm -hmm. <laughs> But, hey, cowboy, there he goes. Yep. I know, and sometimes I'm reading for shows that he's on. Uh, mm -hmm. I read for Star Wars Rebels, and I think we both kind of knew it was. Uh, it said it wasn't, but the first scene, you know, <laughs> <laughs> was with uh, the audition side was with a very specific character, and it's just like, this has got to be yeah. it's Star be that Wars. Way. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I actually ended up booking the job, which was great. So I'm going cool. to be on the next season yeah. of Star Yay. Wars. Woo. Are you supposed to say that? Yeah, is I that, am, because I'm, I'm in the trailer, and I figure okay. I've, I've oh. been announced. There you go. And I have one line in the trailer, and I sort of introduce uh, this another character in the trailer uh, that was a uh, canon from the books, from the alternate universe, mm -hmm. and they're bringing him in to make him canon in the Star Wars universe. So, wow, that's yeah, and so Steve's cool. a rebel, and I'm in the Empire. So it's uh, Ooh, nice. Ooh. Nice. Yes. a little. Now, and do you do the same for him? Like, do you? No, because Steve knows how to run that. <laughs> but he's been doing this for so long. Yeah. He doesn't. I so mean, he just goes in there. He and passes does on the, the feedback, apparently. Yeah. Well, because yeah. well, he does. Uh, tsunami. Then he records from the house, so he's in there mm -hmm. just by himself doing the whole thing, and then he'll go back and edit right. everything. But right. um, it's just easier for because I'll just hop in and be really fast. Yeah, and, yeah, and get out. Well, I know because you sometimes I'll be like, "Hey, listen to this," and so it's so nice to have it's ears great. That, that know what to listen yeah. for. Yeah, it's especially for someone that books. I owe you money, by the way. Sorry. No, you don't. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> that reminds Although, me. Yeah, but most of the time when she's auditioning for something and she's like, "What do you think?" I'm like. It's perfect. Like I, <laughs> I can't even say do it differently because it's like you know, don't even think about it. Send yeah, that exactly. Um, exactly. But you know how actors are. You get into it. Yeah. You're like, well, it could it be this? Could it be that? And you start it's thinking. Nice the answer is yes. Fresh, it can. Yeah, it right. can be there that. You go. Yeah. But it, you might be up against. We've already made an offer mm -hmm. to a celebrity or, or yeah. you right. know, someone on camera or whatever. And right. so, just the fact that you can't, you have to let it go. It's just, I've had more actors, God, I had an actor call me, I was on the phone for a couple hours, saying, why didn't I get it? And I was like, dude, if you're gonna survive in this yeah. town, you gotta let it go. And I have to say that to myself, too. Mm -hmm. It's just like, oh, okay, that was a good audition. Put it away, put it in the thing, and There's so many let things you can't control. Forget about yeah. it. Forget about it, right? Yeah. Forget, forget about, about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it, you know? Just what? go make your sauce and move on. Seriously. Yeah. So what do you think your strengths are as an actor like what what do you feel you're really strong at I think uh, a strong female like when I got Ghost in the Shell I had been a guy just on a run of being on camera and being beaten by men and I was sort of always playing the abused woman over and over and over again yeah. and voiceover was the first time I found strength in myself, and I got to play a character who was really strong, really badass, uh, and still feminine, which was kind of fantastic. So yeah. it changed me as a person. Like, I found the strength within me yeah. in order to play her, which was great. So it was this amazing relationship to, and I think that's what's so great about acting, uh, is that you find 
something within you that you didn't know you had, mm -hmm. you know. And as long as you don't go like Cannibal Lecter, like oh, you know, stuff. So, yeah. You don't do it with the bat <laughs> stuff. I but, like but human with, flesh. I, oh no! I'm gonna wear you as a suit because <laughs> I love you. Um, is you know, is to find the good things in these characters and yeah. find them in yourself, which is great. So it really opened a lot of of myself up to yeah. something I didn't know and something I wasn't confident enough to express. Mm -hmm. So I'm I've become very good at, at doing strong women. I'm I I play good English bitches really well. Like I'm just just British English awful women, you know. Do you channel anyone in particular when you do the English pitch. Where do you, where, <laughs> what well do you go into for oh, that, Mary Elizabeth? Are you and it's also sarcasm. somebody that you might know, or no. we might know. <laughs> no, no, no. But it's also like sarcasm too. It's just like and yes. uh, and all of that. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, my grandfather was English, and uh, I keep hoping I'll make him proud in terms of the accent. Uh, but the the sort of angry. Awful women. It was just, you know, I think of Maggie Smith as is, is, yes. uh, in, in yeah. the, that Downton Abbey, and just, but it's yeah. done with kindness as well, mm -hmm. which is also right. just even worse. It's just yes. so disarming and stuff. Um, but I think I, I, I do that well, and I like playing. Uh, I love playing old ladies too. I don't know why. I love it. It makes me happy. <laughs> I don't know because I can't do the ingenue. I can't do the high young ingenue thing like, you at at all. No. no. No, but I do a mean Arnold Schwarzenegger. And, you do? And, yeah. You have to do it. <laughs> Why? What's wrong with you? Get out. Ah! Get down now. Do it. But that's so good. Get to the that's chopper. So good. And Shatner, I do a good bill. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so Jess and I will do like yeah. competing yes. Shatners. Oh, that's and, funny. Competing yeah. Shatners. Yeah, Mr. and Mrs. Shatner. That's so funny. Oh. You're our first female Schwarzenegger. I, we've never heard oh. a female Schwarzenegger oh, yeah. ever, and for sure. And first female Shatner. Uh, oh my God. Yeah. Hey, this might be a, uh, um, we should give you an award a silly though. question. <laughs> I'll take this cup. Uh, let me read the question um, first. Oh. Okay, now you go ahead and ask okay. her something. Um, so let's talk about your music. Oh, all right. Oh, Gorgeous all right. voice. My gosh. It's Thanks. like haunting Kick and. Ass. Oh, it's just so beautiful. Thank so you. stunning. So we need to let people know how to get it, how to find it. Where ah, we're... it's the silent. Well, most of it is from Silent Hill, uh, right? the Silent Hill game series. Yeah. And I started in Silent Hill 3. And then uh, just Akira Yamaoka, who's this genius, genius uh, Japanese composer and uh, one of the most amazing souls I've ever met in my life. He, um, every year, would say, I've got four more songs. So we would do four more songs. Mm -hmm. And then I, in, in the span of usually two days. And then, bye, bye, you know, next year, four more <laughs> songs, four more songs. And we, I don't even know how many we did, close to 30? Mm -hmm. We did a lot of songs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and now we're starting to tour, which is sort of amazing. Like wow, we did that's cool. A week in you're Russia. All, I was gonna say, you're all, you're all over the world doing it. Yeah, so we're going back to France this year, we're going so cool. to Russia again. Um, we've been to Mexico a number of times. And it's just beautifully haunting music. It's, it's, everything is in juxtaposition in Silent Hill, because it's sort of the limbo where you go and you don't realize that you're dead, but you are. Mm -hmm. uh, and so if the song is musically a lullaby, it's going to be, the lyrics are going to be how much you hate your mother and wish she was dead. Wow. So, or if it's the saddest music in the world, it's all about a letter that you wrote to yourself 10 years ago saying, we were put here to feel joy. That's why we're here. But it's the mm -hmm. saddest music. It's just yeah. so everything is in juxtaposition. And That's my so voice cool. for the music doesn't really fit. I mean, it should be someone with a higher voice or someone with more rock and roll or something. But that's what Akira loved is that he said, no, it has to be this melding of two words mm -hmm. that worlds that don't fit. I am the it's square so peg in the round hole. It's wow. so beautiful, yeah. yeah. That's fantastic. And it's just, it was so much fun. And all different styles of music, too. I mm -hmm. mean, real rock and roll stuff, and then these beautiful ballads. And, I mean, I can it's never... It's all over YouTube. You guys have to check it out. It's so yeah. beautiful. Yeah, what would they Thank search you. for? What, what, for? Uh, Silent Hill. Silent Hill and my name. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's fantastic. Cool. My favorite song is Room of Angels. Start there. Start with Room of Angels. Room of one. Angels. Yeah. Okay. Knowing what you know now, mm -hmm. what advice would you give to your, say, 20-year-old self? Ooh, um, 
you know what? I'm a firm believer you are of you are exactly where you're supposed to be at all times, whether you're in a good place or a bad place. Mm -hmm. When you get out of that bad place, you're going to be in a really good place because it's like you're going to learn from where you were and sure. you're mm -hmm. going to be where you're supposed to be. So all these things of, oh, I should have done this, I should have done that, I should have done this. If I had changed any of that along the way, any change in that trajectory, I wouldn't be here. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I would be somewhere else, doing something else. Mm -hmm. So all the mistakes and all the screw-ups, and there were a lot. I screwed up all the time. I still do. It's fun. Um, <laughs> but I'm you know, more willing to embrace it and be less defiant and you know, choosing every battle and being so stubborn and everything else. Um, so I, I'm a firm believer in... in f okay, here's the thing. Follow whatever dream that you have uh, without expectation uh -huh. because you may find yourself on the path to be a voiceover, I mean, a, a, an on-camera actor, and along the way, you get pushed into voiceover for whatever reason. Thank you, share the horse. Yeah. Uh, and if I had said, no, I'm going to steer it back yeah. into on-camera, I don't think I would be happy, as happy as I am now. I don't, uh, it's like I took the nudge that life gave me and I ran with it. Mm -hmm. And I think that's sort of, staying on a path without expectation. Because mm -hmm. sometimes you get hit in a direction you never expected. Totally. Right, you never expected right. to be doing voiceover. Yeah. Right. So all of a sudden you're like, whoa, I'm in this place that brings me such joy yeah. and such fulfillment that I never knew existed. Mm -hmm. But I started off with a dream and I ended up in the place I'm supposed to be. Yeah. yeah. Maybe hit a couple fluid. of nightmares along the way. <laughs> Absolutely, 100%. Yeah. But even those, I'm like, I am so yeah. thankful for that. Yeah, because right, it's true because there's learning. Yeah. I mean, it's either, so I always say that everything's either an opportunity or a punishment. Yeah. And it's just how you choose to approach. Yeah. You're going to And every gonna punishment's an opportunity. Absolutely. Every opportunity Absolutely. is a punishment sometimes. You know? That's mm. what you're saying. I'm just saying. That's right. It's like one of those cyclical thoughts. So uh, what's the tattoo that you're bearing and what is it saying? What does it mean? Okay. This is Elvish because uh, I'm a big nerd. Uh, <laughs> and it's the name of the first real role I had on stage in college. And it's Ophelia from Hamlet. Ophelia. Ophelia. From Hamlet. Yeah. yeah. And it's also a reminder, uh, Laura Bailey gave me uh, a bracelet when I was going through some really, a really rough patch in my life that mm. says, I shall not sink. Mm. I shall um, not sink. I shall not sink. Love and it's that. a beautiful memento, and it's exactly what Ophelia did, so it's a constant reminder wow. to stay afloat. Yeah. Stay Man, afloat. Yeah. Cool. yeah. yeah. So, well, I've been admiring it from that. here because you know I, know I have a few it's tattoos myself. Yeah. Um, yeah. Take and, it uh, off. Take it No, no, no. It's not going to happen. It up. But, Show it up. Hey, Show it up. Stop it. This is not that kind of a show, ladies it's and gentlemen. It's the interwebs. We can do anything we want. That's right. No, but it looks cool. Like, when, when yeah. you go like this, I'm like, yeah. hey, she's like really cool over there. I, I want to get another one here. I took a, I'm kind of freaky into uh, uh, astrophotography now. Uh, I went to Hawaii last year for Hawaii Con. Go to Hawaii Con. It's the greatest mm. con in the world. One of the greatest cons in the world. It's there are many Hawaii. amazing cons. Yeah. But Hawaii Con is a really special place because they're writers and scientists and it's it's not just anime and animation mm -hmm. and everything else it's it's a an overall wow. experience of a life in the most beautiful one of the most yeah, beautiful places course. on the planet yeah um, and you walk out and they're just the stars everywhere and you can go up to Mauna Kea on the Big Island which is at 14,000 feet elevation and uh, I took a picture of one of the observatories up there with the laser shooting up and the moon above and it put out the wackiest, like, goddess symbol, I don't know, this moon, uh, what is it? A flare, it was like a moon flare uh -huh. on the lens. Mm -hmm. And I think that's gonna be my next one. Ooh. Wow. In the air. I am so into like the whole moon, like whenever, oh. oh I have moons to show you and pictures. the harvest moon and the full moons. And, yeah, I'm, I love, I'm, yeah, I'm like moon, I'm lunar connected. Moon lady. I'm always like, Chuck, we gotta walk uh, under the moon. Yeah. M O O N. Magical. <laughs> that spells moon. It's magical. It's magical. Um, it's magical. Okay, so back to business oh, here. So yes. when somebody gets a call back, mm -hmm. um, what do you feel are some do's and maybe don'ts that you could do and not do to have a good callback? <laughs> don't say who wrote this shit. Right. Don't Primo. say who wrote Primo. this shit if you don't yep. like it. Um, don't push being funny. Just be you. Just be you. If they like you, you like... You, you don't have to sell back. you. You got the callback. Yeah. They want you to succeed. Here's the thing. We want you to succeed. Yeah, if you come in the heard, room, yeah. we want to stop this casting process yeah. as quickly and as humanly possible because then we can get to work. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. So when you go in there, you deserve to be there. So 
knock the monkey off your shoulder that's saying you're going to fail. It's going to keep whispering in your ear. Mm -hmm. Forget about it. If you can, just say, shut up, monkey. And go in there and do your thing. Have confidence in what you do. Don't get in your own head. There's a great Indigo Girls uh, lyric that's uh, thinking yourself into a jail. Like, don't think yourself into a jail. Right. Just be you. Be yeah. you. Do the work. And cross your fingers. You know. Yeah. Remember what you did that yeah. got you that callback? They'll, they'll yeah. play it. Yeah, they'll, they'll, they'll usually play, play you a reference. And cool. sometimes they'll say, we really liked this part of it, but we want to expand it. We want to broaden this particular okay, aspect of the character. Mm -hmm. So yeah. you may not always go in and do exactly what you did before. And sometimes you'll go in and get the job and they'll say, so remember uh, it was uh, Irish before? Well, now it's Australian. So learn accents, learn accents. Because yeah. uh, that way you can go in and say, yeah, I can do that. Instantly, I can do that. Because if not, they'll say, oh, well, we really need it to be Australian. Have, have, do mm -hmm. you know how many dialects you can do? Oh, well? <laughs> well yeah, well, like uh, believable? I can do English very well. <laughs> yeah. And like, what brand? And J.B. Blanc would be what? like, well, what part of England? And yeah, I'm like, the get part that here. I'm doing now. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I can do some southern ones, and there's some amazing dialect coaches out there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, JB Blanc is one of them. Yeah. For instance, um, and there, uh, it's a good. There's a lot of resources out there. There's a lot of resources on the net. If you want to learn an accent, go on YouTube, and you know these oh, two right. Irish kids who just won the rowing. You can't understand a word they're saying. They're I amazing, know. and it's the greatest accent. Yeah. It's so fun, and that'll get your foot in the door. You know, I know. I was saying to Chuck, you know, watch, watching the Olympics. Yeah, it was like you know, it's like oh, oh, you know, to really hear a South African accent in yeah. real, real form. It's, yeah, it's yeah, cool. it's good. Was there ever research. a dialect that you had to learn that was really difficult for you, or are you just talented Australian that way? kicks Australian? my butt? Mm. It kicks my butt. I can't do it. It's <laughs> terrible. <laughs> Well, it can and flip I, into English and vice versa. Like, yeah. it's tricky. It's a tricky nuance. Yeah, all I can get is like, good eye. And I, every time I do yeah. Australia, I go like, I'm going to sell so like this. Come, come at the front. It's not <laughs> easy being green. Good eye, mate. And that's a terrible accent. It's <laughs> awful. It's so bad. It's Kermit oh. down under. That's true. Yes. So <laughs> put funny. Kermit on the Barbie. You know, like, nobody says that. Nobody says that. You know, so yeah, that's bad. South African, I think, is really hard. That is hard. Really, really yeah. hard. Polish is hard. Polish is hard. Uh, Polish is hard. But also, you might learn these accents perfectly, and they'll be like, we can't understand a word you're saying. We, yeah. we want uh, a more watered-down version, version of that. Version you know, of yellow yeah. moons, orange stars, green yeah. clovers. <laughs> you know, we want the, the, we want the Lucky Charms yeah. version of yeah, Irish, yeah, yeah. as opposed to <laughs> the, you know, toy, 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 you know, where you yeah. just don't understand right. anything. So. so you have to be prepared for all of that yeah. and be prepared to let it go. It's like, I studied for months to get this accent <laughs> right, and be like, just let it go. Yeah, just yeah. Forget, work. It, forget yeah. about it. Forget yeah. about um, it, right? Is there anything you could, any information or advice <laughs> yes. that you might be able to give somebody? Like, for example, if your um, good friend, Samantha, we're just going to name her, <laughs> well, right. um, wanted to break into the business of mm -hmm. maybe voice acting, Ah, what advice would you give her like what some good steps to get her moving into the right direction okay be where the work is one uh you can't you know be where the work is you, you really need to la texas new york still has some canada um i would say take improv take improv cold read your buns off get out there and read out loud every single day mm -hmm. And go to IWantToBeAVoiceActor.com. That's right. D Done Baker. by D. Bradley Baker. Mm -hmm. It is the greatest resource, and thank you, D. Baker, for doing it, that yeah. is out there right now. It's yeah. a master class. Yeah. And it's free, and it's on the web, and you can do yeah. it from home, and you'll really see whether or not this is something you want to do. Yeah. Because it's not easy. I mean, it's once you get in the room, it's amazing. And when you get the confidence and to be able to get to play with people, it's fantastic. Yeah. But it's a lot, and you audition and audition and audition, and you'll maybe book in the beginning one out of 50, and then it'll be like one out of four. 40, one out of 30, but do as much research as you possibly can. I say take acting. 
Uh, I know a lot of actors that, uh, voiceover actors that didn't study acting. I studied, right. I, I overachieved in right. the study. I got right. like an MFA in acting. Yeah. Uh, you You're know, like, I want to become the best actor in the world. No, I was like, I don't want to go out into reality, so yeah. I'm going to stay right. in school. Right. You know, I'm <laughs> terrified. Do you have a PhD that I could do? I was thinking yes. of doing that. I was like, oh, come, come on. on. Come on. Be on. Get on Star Trek, you know. Um, Dr. McGlynn has a nice ring to it. Dr. McGlynn would like you to start at the top of this <laughs> book. We're starting on chapter one. Which would have been wonderful and fine, but there's, uh, but for me, it was really about you know being here and doing this and seeing what happened. Yeah. And if it didn't work, then I probably would have gone back and I don't know what I would have done because I would never wanted to mean any uh, teachers or anything else. It's just like this is what I wanted to do, and yeah. uh, and it led me into or being here was what I wanted, yeah. and right. it led me right. here. So. Yeah. Well, you, listen, you it worked out choice. exactly the way right. it was supposed to. Yes. Exactly. And when you have a burning desire to do something, yeah. Yeah. sometimes you don't even know what draws you to do some of the things that you do that actually open up opportunities, but they just yeah. do. Yeah, they yeah. do. So, yeah. They do, it's kind of so amazing. Cool, man. And remember, we're all winging it. Don't, let yeah. ev don't ever think that adults know what we're doing, because we don't. <laughs> we wing it. That's good, you wing it. You wing it, and you just, just hopefully it works, yeah. and yeah. then you get more confidence. Yeah. If you could sort of uh, reflect on, what do you think have been the keys to your longevity and your just Oof. trajectory in the business. Um, shit, Why are you know. still here? Because <laughs> they haven't kicked me out <laughs> yet. I have to say that you probably have like a really awesome attitude about a lot of stuff. Well, the word oh. on the street is, you know, and whenever you, you say your name, everyone everybody says, everybody always says, oh, oh, she's man. so awesome. And Dude. You I'm serious. A lot. I'm like this every day. Bull every crap. day. You know what? The You're PayPal is working sweetheart. because you are yeah. beloved. <laughs> no, you truly are. I don't know. I I had an acting teacher tell me, you know, Mary, no one said this was supposed to be fun. So I spend every day trying to make it fun, even if. You, the character is crying hysterically and has had to, to kill their whatever. I mean, it's just like the process has to be enjoyable on some level, mm -hmm. whether it's a creative enjoyment, whether you you know just cried your eyes out, there still has to be a sense of satisfaction. And that right. to me is another form of fun. It, it, it has to be, otherwise, mm -hmm. What's the point? And if you're not enjoying it, then the people around you are going to feel that you're not enjoying it. And why should they enjoy it if you're not enjoying it? You know, how lucky are we to be in this industry to do what totally. we do? I mean, yeah. it's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. So, and yeah, there are days when it's like I am a fucking dentist. You know, where you're just pulling out a performance. But those are so few and far between. Uh, and even new actors. I worked with this actor this week who had never been behind the mic and he was so scared and so nervous and it was so much fun and he walked out and he goes, that was so much fun and mm. I said, good, because yeah. that means you're going to come back. Yeah. That means you're going to want to come back and you're going to want to create something. We seem to be in a really destructive time, so it's great to encourage creation, yeah. yes. you know, on every level, on any level. It's, yeah. it's just a good thing to create joy and fun and uh, creativity and I, yeah. That's well, good. you're doing it. And shit. <laughs> you just motivated me. Hey! I'm so motivated. Oh my gosh, I'm so <laughs> motivated. Is this it a bowel question. motivation? Because no. that's the best kind. <laughs> <laughs> you're a nut. This is the mystery card. <laughs> what? We don't Pick even card, know what's card, on it. any card, just not <gasps> that card. No. Do you want to read it or should I? You read it. All right. What does it say? Ooh, this is good. What do you dream your life will be like in 10 years? Oh, that's easy. <laughs> that's easy. It is? Yeah, Let's we just it. bought property in Hawaii, so we're oh. going gonna to build our dream home, and uh, I'm, we're going to not retire, because I think with ISDN lines and everything else, yeah. uh, we can continue to work. Sure. Maybe open a studio in Hawaii. Uh, I would like to do astrophotography till that. I want to figure out every place on that island where I can get a good shot of the Milky Way. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. that's, that's what I want until I'm bored and, and just can't do it anymore. Um, learn how to, s I don't know, I just. Learn how to. How to s uh, speak Hawaiian and <laughs> learn how I'm to not gonna sing, get away with it. sing Hawaiian songs. Sing Hawaiian songs. And it's a very dance, hula dance. No, no, no hula. <coughs> uh, well, but coconut bras go to Steve. Um, <laughs> 
there's a really distinctive way Hawaiians sing. Yeah. You know, it's just like, it's it's a beautiful way. Anyway, so I kind of want to learn how to do that and, and learn how to sing more, I think, maybe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I want to keep directing. I want to keep directing yeah. and, and acting. And We want you to keep directing. Thank you. I just, I want to keep doing what I'm doing and see yeah. where it where it takes me and yeah. what shows, what what we can all create together, you know, yeah. like that's what I want to do. Yeah. I just want to yeah. continue to create on whatever level possible and then have this dream house in Hawaii, put the Google calendar up and just say, get your asses out here and pay for your food and your cleaning and yeah. come because we will be there. And that's well, so I'll cook cool. for you okay. when I get there. So that'll yeah. be You're going to make her a snack? I'll make, uh, I'm a good cook. She's a very good cook. Mm -hmm. You uh, like to eat? She likes yeah, to cook. Uh. Uh, <laughs> she doesn't eat the food, she just cooks it. <laughs> no, she's like, I'm an eater. I'm an eater. Not she meat. Is an eater. I don't eat meat, but I'm an eater. Uh. Um, well, Mary Elizabeth, such a pleasure. What a oh, doll. Thanks. So thanks, happy we guys. finally you got you to our place, and everyone out there is so blessed for having heard you and now you will be living on the internet forever they can come back to yes the interwebs time you're gonna be a youtube again. star starting in a few days in uh, three Mary two e. McGlynn yeah. On twitter. <laughs> yeah follow me on the twitter yes uh, yeah on the twatter on the twitter follow her twitter at mary e mcglynn right yeah 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 follow her my facebook is private because yeah. i put pictures up of yeah. my things so don't don't friend her if you don't know her yeah no, <laughs> just don't be disappointed if she'll i don't accept you because i need privacy yeah. i'm i'm a, i'm a what is what's the thing called an extroverted introvert or an introverted yeah. extrovert? No, no the I'm extroverted. Kinda, I'm the same. I, I don't put everything out there. Yeah. yeah, I think it's important to have a little mystery. Yeah, just yeah, just keep some things sacred. I absolutely. know, because I get in trouble. Well, especially when you're like a big thing. popular superstar like yeah. you, like you guys are. Um, you're like very uh, popular, you, you know, and you have it's to have like some privacy. The paparazzi are like banging on the yeah. door. <laughs> okay, hey, stay away. We're trying to record. We're not coming out. <laughs> no, I, I live with someone that's like that. We're in All Saints. <laughs> Palm Desert, like at the Cabazon outlets, uh, and this kid was like, "Are you Steve Bloom?" And I was like, "Yes." <laughs> that is fantastic. Well, he's a doll. Uh, he You're is a doll. doll. He is the coolest dude guys, on the planet, man. Um, thank you so much for thank coming you down and sharing so much with for really having me. I, Absolutely, I'm really honored. Um, and we know what we look forward to hanging out with you some more. Yeah. Oh yeah, because you are some cool peeps. I gotta yeah. say. Oh, thank you. You got the cool thing. Like Damn. I said, keep the payments flowing. Absolutely, the payments are flowing. <laughs> hey, guess what? We're going to see you guys next time with another show, so be there. See you later. Hi, this is Mary Elizabeth McGlynn, and I just got buzzed, y'all, uh, with Chuck and Stacy, which is pretty freaking awesome. And if you're going to get buzzed anywhere, this is the place to do it. And remember, we're all winging it, dude, so get out there and be confident. Wing it good. Wing it as good as you can. Well, there you go. All the questions you would ever want to ask an awesome voice director mm -hmm. right to your home, straight from VO Buzz Weekly. We've got the answers, baby. Holy Toledo. Yes, it's you so guys cool. should be very excited right mm -hmm. now. I think and, they are. Absolutely. Hey, we're going to be back next week with another episode, probably a brand new one, something you've never seen before. Most likely. Yeah. This is really, really cool. <laughs> and don't forget, Subscribe to our YouTube channel, check us out on iTunes, subscribe, leave us some reviews, all that good stuff. Absolutely. And don't forget to find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And just remember, you, you always, always have, have time, time for, for a little buzz. Come on, come on, come on and get buzzed with us. The o Buzz Weekly is sponsored by Chuck Duran's Demo That Rock. Rock. The voice of a demo producer to the stars is now available to you. Visit DemosVetRock.com and take your voiceover career to the next level. See you next time. And remember, you always have time for a little buzz.